praise the name of the Lord. I'm a little bit hoarse tonight. Usually I sound a little bit better than that. But I've been fighting a cold. But I'm singing that unto the Lord. Because we're worshiping God and loving God with song and praise. Now hopefully you can um, either look on the the website and maybe play this again or eventually we're hoping to get some D CDs of our shows so that you can buy them later on and hear and sing along with the songs that we're going to be singing from time to not from time to time excuse me I'm going to take a drink I also played the violin and I ordered an electric violin so I'm hoping to play that in the future as well. Now, if you'd like to call in in the next half an hour, this is a good time to call. Now, please remember that even if you don't speak English very well, that's okay. I want you to call in and try. I want to see if I can understand what you're saying. And you might have a prayer request, or you might have a good word to say, or you might have a question about how you'd like to receive the Lord tonight. And while we're waiting for people to call in, I'm going to say the salvation prayer with those who might want to accept Jesus right now. And I'm going to say again that verse in John 3:16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, that means you, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you would like to know that in your afterlife, after death, you will be with the Lord Jesus, and God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, in heaven, you can know that tonight, most assuredly, by receiving Jesus as your Savior. And I have some more verses later on to share with you about that too. But if you'd like to receive the Lord Jesus tonight, just bow your head with me and say that this prayer with me repeat after me dear Heavenly Father thank you so much that Jesus died on the cross for my sins I have sinned I've lived perhaps an evil life an ungodly life I haven't maybe been kind to others or shown God's love to others because I didn't know you. But Lord, I believe you are the son of the living God. And I want to step out of darkness right now and step into light by accepting Jesus Christ as my Savior. And I receive your blessed forgiveness for my sins and I praise you and thank you for it praise you Lord and thank you for it in Jesus name Amen if you've received the Lord Jesus into your heart call in and let us know and we'd be happy to hear from you and talk with you tonight if you just want to chat with me or ask any question about daily living in the life as a Christian I'd be happy to talk with you to chat with you the number is 951-823-5107 again that number to call in and talk to me right now is 951-823-5107 now while we're waiting for some of you to call in we'll just share some other verses that tell about God's love. You can interrupt us, so just go ahead and call anytime, and I'll just stop what we're doing. But Romans 12, 9 says, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. That's someone who has the love of God. So God's telling us in his word here what love is. In Luke 6.31, it says, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's often called the golden rule. People call it that, but it's just a name they've given it. 
But it's a good way of life to follow, isn't it? It's to treat other people like you would like to be treated in love. In Romans 13.10, Love does not harm. It does no harm to its neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of law. In 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4, and thereafter it says love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love doesn't have jealousy for others. Love doesn't want what others have. Love doesn't want to take from others. Love wants to give. And when you have the love of God, He takes away that sin nature of those feelings of envy. That's just the, the nature that we're born in. In Romans 3.23 it says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So it's sort of like human nature that people want what other people have and are sometimes jealous. But we need to remember that God's love we don't envy. And we want to show God's love. And it does not boast. We don't make big proclamations about how wonderful we are. Or, I've got this, or I've got this home, and I've got that boat, and I've got this jewelry, and I've got this new car, and I've got the best of everything. God just really looks upon our heart. He doesn't look at the worldly goods and possessions that we have. In fact, did you know, when we go to heaven, we can't take those worldly possessions with us. So really, in a, a way, other than for our human creature comforts, what good are they? Other than for maybe the aesthetic value and our pleasure of why we're here on earth, what do all our riches give us? They don't get us interest into heaven. Only knowing Jesus does that. So love does not boast. Love does not make these bold statements all the time about how wonderful you are or what you've done. And love is not proud. And there's a scripture that says pride cometh before a fall. Beware of those who have too much pride because that often means you're going to fall or something will happen that you won't be as proud anymore. It is not rude. Love is not rude. Love has good manners. It respects others. It listens when others talk. And hears what they say. Pays attention to what they say. And then responds to what they're saying. Rather than just speaking your own agenda. You're having a good, loving, caring conversation with others. And love is not self-seeking. Love does not seek what I could get for me. Love does not seek what I can get for my own gain. Love seeks to show God's love, to love others, and to help others. Love is not easily angered. Now, even Christ got angry when he threw out the money changers out of the temple. But it's not a normal course of a Christian to show anger. Excuse me, as I told you, I've been fighting a cold. Pardon me for that. So it's not easily angered. Now, there's such a thing as righteous indignation, but you just don't see that very often. And we can't use that to judge others. It's up to God to judge others. So um, be careful if you find yourself stirred to anger quite often. That that is not the love of God shining through you. And as a Christian, we want to show God's love. And guess what else? Love keeps no records of the wrongs done to us. The Lord God forgives us of our sins and forgets them and mentions them no more. And we need to follow that example of God by to forgive others 
And when they ask us for forgiveness, not to bring it up again. Because that's God's pattern. That's God's example he has set for us. So let's follow God's example. And the Bible is a long book. So we have many years to read about the Lord God, his examples, and how he wants us to be a Christian. Love always protects. You know, you love your kids. If anybody tries to endanger them, you're going to protect them, aren't you? Well, when we love others in God's family, we want to try to protect them. Love trust. Love trust that you're telling the truth, that what you're saying is, is the truth as well. Love always hopes. I know a friend this last year called me a Pollyanna. Well, I hadn't seen the movie, so I went and looked it up and, and watched Pollyanna. It's an old movie. And uh, it was about this young girl who always had hope that things would be better. And if we'd all work together, we could just fix it. Well, yes, that's me. <laughs> but that hope and that belief comes from God. It's God's love and the faith in God that he can help us to do things in our life that he wants us to do, that we can achieve things in our lives that God wants us to achieve. So that's not really from me. It's from God. And we can all have that when we're a child of God. Love does not delight in evil. Have you ever heard of, maybe you've seen in a movie, or oh, heaven forbid if you've seen people do this, but think I have in my life years ago when people do something mean and then they go ah, ha, ha, ha. they'll laugh at it take pleasure in it well God doesn't want us to do that he doesn't want us to take pleasure or delight in evil but he wants us to rejoice with truth praise the Lord for truth and in truth. Do you know that Jesus is truth? So when we rejoice with truth and in truth, we're also rejoicing in Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? It always protects. Love always trusts. Love always hopes. Love always perseveres. Love never fails. And God loves us. This is a relationship that we can have with God. He's explaining it to us, how he will treat us and be in a relationship with us. But there's one that is a special verse to me about love. People talk about faith, hope, grace, love, commandments, so many things of the scripture that are important to us. In 1 Corinthians 13, 13, it tells you, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. If we have not love, our other works really don't count for much. When we do God's work, God wants us to do it in love. In God's love. Love is important. That's why I call this show God's Love Talking. And God talks to us every day in an ongoing relationship as we pray, as we worship in the Spirit, as we read the Scripture. God wants us to have a loving relationship and He wants to talk with us. Ephesians 4, 2, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing one another in love. 1 Peter 4, 8, above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. 1 John 4, 7, dear friends, let us love one another 
for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 4, 18 and 19, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Praise the Lord. We love because God first loved us. We have the ability to love because God loves us and shows us and tells us how to love. Now this next one, I wondered if I should say it, but I'm going to because husband and wife relationships are very common. So in Ephesians 5.26, it says, Husband loves your wives, and just as Christ loved the church, and wives respect your husbands. 1 John 4, 8, whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Now that's a deep one. It sounds simple. But if you know people who don't know how to love, who don't know how to express love, who don't know what love is, then they don't know God. And perhaps that's a sign to you to share God's love and tell them about God's love talking with Dr. Diane here every Friday night at 8 o'clock from 8 to 9. And you have a couple minutes. You can call to talk in if you want. Uh, 951-823-5107. You have a couple of minutes yet that you can call and talk in with me, Dr. Diane. And I do appreciate you being with us tonight on my first show of God's Love Talking. It's very special to me that you're with me here sharing this time together. And I'm going to pray the last few minutes for you and for us that God will bless you with his love and that you will come to know him. So let's bow our heads together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to share about God's love and that people around the world, no matter who they are, no matter where they're from, no matter how evil they've been or what awful sins they may have committed, Lord, that you, God, love them. Praise the Lord and that you, God, want them to be in your family and that you God want to show and demonstrate your love to them that you want to commune and walk with them and you'd love to hear their worship of you Lord we pray many blessings upon our Christian family around the world and we pray Lord for protection from those who would wish to harm our Christian family around the world, we pray a protective hedge around all our Christian family. Lord, and we pray that you would give them the strength and the courage to stand for you and to share God's love to others, to tell others the good news about Jesus, to tell others the good news about God's love, how much you care about us and each one. Lord, I pray that you would anoint those who are pastoring, who are trying to start up churches around the world, that you will woo people unto you by your Spirit. Lord, we pray for all those who may be of another religion. Perhaps they're Buddhist or Muslim, or they don't have a religion. Maybe they're atheists. Or agnostic or maybe they follow Confucianism or Taoist or whatever their religion be Lord we pray that you would reveal yourself to them we pray that they would ask you to reveal yourself to them and that they would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are the true 
and living God. And we pray, Lord, for the people around the world that they would all come to know you, Lord. For we know the end time is coming. We know you're gathering together what you call symbolically in the Bible your bride of Christ and that the church, all the Christians of the world are God's, the Lord Jesus bride of Christ that he's preparing. We pray, Lord, that you would prepare us, prepare the Christians around the world to grow in strength and be more like Christ. And we thank you and praise you for it. In the precious name of Jesus, amen, amen. So remember, I'll be here every week, every Friday night from 8 to 9. And I get a little teary-eyed sometimes when I pray. That's okay. Because God sees our heart and our love, and he's okay with that. He's okay with a little emotion. Being a Christian and loving God has emotion, and I praise the Lord for that. And I do look forward to our time together next week. I don't know yet what I'm going to talk about, but I can assure you this, I will try to do different things from time to time. Uh, I play the uh, keyboard, I can make it a piano sometimes, or violin, and I bought an electric violin, and I'm going to try to sing while playing that violin, and just sit right here in this chair and sing like this. <laughs> I haven't ever done that before, but I do play the violin. If you see my wrist motion, you know I play the violin. <laughs> because violinists do that. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I taught violin and piano for many years, years ago, but I haven't been playing for years either. But I'm looking forward to do doing that a little more again for the Lord to give you some way to worship and praise the Lord together. You have one last opportunity to call in. A couple of minutes here if you just want to say hi. And, oh, please stay tuned because our next show has Pastor Nancy. And she and I did a few shows together the last few months. I in English and she in Thai. She speaks English too, though. So you English speakers can stay on and perhaps she'll say a little English here and there to help you understand. But I know you'll enjoy it. She shares from the Bible as well, too. You know, the Bible is the most popular book in the world. It has sold the most copies more than any other book. Don't you think you need a copy of the Bible? Look online and buy one today. You could buy really good ones at www.jsm.org. They sell Bibles, but I don't get any kickback. But you can look online and buy Bibles if you can't find a store. Some local churches have Bible stores. You can buy one. If you want one in your language, I know uh, jsm.org sells several different languages in uh, Spanish and I think maybe Russian and a few other languages in English, of course. And it's important that you have a Bible to learn what God is saying to you and to us to live our lives daily as a Christian. And you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been a Christian for over 60 years, and I'm so glad I accepted the Lord. He changed my life completely, and I've had a good life because of God. My life has been good. And I appreciate the Lord and all his mercy and his love that he has given me. And he wants to give you. So we have about one minute here left. If you would like to buy a Roku box, someplace like Best Buy, and attach that to your TV, you can watch our show uh, on TV at Lao ITV. That's Lao International TV. Or you can watch it on your computer. And if you go to the website on your computer, you might have to do an app. I don't know. So search around and find out beforehand 
so that you can continue to watch or when you tell others how to watch it's a little bit different than our mainstream TV we watch so we've got to get people connected into us so we do appreciate you watching and I look forward to you being with me again next week Friday night at 8 o'clock and remember this is God's love talking with Dr. Diane I love you. God loves you. Thank you so much for being with me with me tonight. Take care.